Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Resurgence 126, coming to you live from the Norfolk Scope Arena in Norfolk, West Virginia. And we are starting things heavy. The following contest is a singles contest scheduled for one fall. From Seattle, Washington, he is the RWR United States Champion, the Punk Kid, Jimmy King. A non-title contest. The United States Champion in action, getting ready for his match at Sky's the Limit, which we learned last week will be a triple threat match as he will take on both Chris Jones and Justin Sane. But for tonight, has to set them aside in his mind and focus on the opponent at hand, a man who has held multiple titles here and who is looking to take any opportunity he can to get back to the dance, including beating an undefeated United States champion. Well, undefeated in championship matches. Oh, wait a second! Chris Jones backstage in our interviewing area going after Archangel. Elbow to the side of the head. Trips him up. It was supposed to be Jimmy Kane versus Archangel here tonight. But Chris Jones clearly with something else on his mind. And the lights are still out in the arena. Waiting for Archangel to make his entrance. But unfortunately, that's very clearly not gonna be happening. It looked like Jones just tried to throw him into that cement post. And oh my God, the strength of Jones. Has him up with a gorilla press. And the lights are back on here in the arena and Okay, we need someone to cut to the ring now. Cut to the ring! Jimmy Kane is not alone in the ring! While oh, Jimmy Kane was waiting for Archangel, there you see! Just insane! Wait a second! That's Leon Moore! Recent signee to RWR! And as we have come to know, and there you see in the middle of the ring, the two friends, the embrace, Leon Moore showing. He has Jimmy Kane's back. And unfortunately, we're not going to be starting things off with US champion in action. And I'm sure he has to go backstage to get checked out. And instead, we are going to be having the RWR Tag Team Champions go up. I guess a team to prepare themselves for our number one contenders in the powers of pain. It is going to be the Agents of Pain versus Valhalla Rising. And that match is next. The following contest is a tag team match. Representing the Agents of Pain, these are the RWR Tag Team Champions, Johnny Draco and Kurt Wagner. And as I said, the RWR Tag Team Champions who will be going into a triple threat tag team match at Sky's The Limit. And in that match, the Agents of Pain will have to defeat not only the Resurgence number one contenders of the Powers of Pain, but also the team of Hydra from Retaliation. It will definitely be a lot easier said than done. Speaking of things that are easier said than done, their opponents. 
making their combined way to the ring from Valhalla, weighing in at a combined 525 pounds. They are Thorin Jordan and Balder McFife. Valhalla Rising! And Valhalla Rising may not have been able to kick it off yet here. However, you know that they would love nothing more than to get their first win here in RWR over the RWR Tag Team Champions. And if anything, I would say their tag team matches in the past have shown just what they are capable of in that ring. As I said, yet to get a win, but at the same time, been impressive. Time in and time out. Agents of Pain, Valhalla Rising. Battle rings and the match is underway and we are getting heavy hitter versus heavy hitter. Johnny Draco starting things off with Baldair McFife. Shoulder tackle takes down the bigger Baldair. Arm drag. Oh, and just a punch to the midsection and gets sent out of the ring as I said. Draco, definitely the heavy hitter of the crew of the Agents of Pain. Running crossbody does not connect that time. And just a punch to the side of the head. Kick to the midsection. Oh, God, DDT! And a kick to the midsection. And Baldair just dropped him with a right hand. Popping him. Oh, God. God, that running cross body. Seven. When all else fails, just throw yourself at your opponent. Although Baldair, oh, hangs him on the apron. Face first, right into that steel support. And Baldair gonna be sent into the corner. Big splash, runs back over. And another one, showing the speed and agility. Trips him up. Oh, and just a knee. Right to the back of Baldair's knee. Good way to get rid of most of Baldair's repertoire. Gonna tag out. And Kurt Wagner headed to the second rope. Oh, assisted leg drop into the cover. One, no, one only. Oh, they just pushed him off. And a kick between the shoulders and now stomping away. Sent off the ropes. Oh, knee to the midsection, just rocked him. And another one. And you see those knees to the midsection also doing damage to Kurt Wagner. And now Baldair looking to tag into the fresh Thorin Jordan. Knee to the head. Oh, clubbing blow to the back of the head. Gets sent back into the corner. Splash does not connect. DDT! In a knee to the midsection. Shoulder tackle. Rings of Saturn has the arm trapped, looking to submit Thorin. He may not be as big as Baldair, but he does have strength behind him, powering out of the Rings of Saturn. Gets sent into the corner. Oh my God, that was that was nice. Looked like Wagner tried to throw himself at Thorin, who just brought the knees up into the midsection. Decapitator! Got 
Gonna tag in Johnny Draco, who gets tripped up. Kick to the midsection. And a shoulder tackle. A jawbreaker that time. Superman punch! Cover! One only! And Draco rolling out of the ring. Playing it smart. Thorin gonna follow after though. Referee has his count on the outside. Just pulls him back and clotheslines him. Now Draco sends him back into the ring. Oh God. Oh God. Just slamming the chest. And Baldare playing roadblock there. Punch to the side of the head. Full Nelson face buster into the cover. No! Thorin got the arm up right away. The heart and determination of Valhalla rising. Running knee! And if you have followed Valhalla Rising through their careers, you know they live by the mantra of Valhalla, the three Fs, and they are showing it here with Thorne putting on a hell of a fight. Power slam. Diving headbutt. Into the cover. One. Broken up by Baldair. Draco got him with a neat, sorry, an elbow to the throat. Oh, and just a kick to the head. And now Wagner double underhooks him. Double underhook suplex. Thorin trips him up. Now just stomping away at him. Picks up Wagner. Chop does not connect. Gets a right hand for his troubles. And they could be looking to end it. Power slam. Diving headbutt. Into the cover. One. Two. No! Wagner was able to stop Baldair, but it wasn't enough to keep Thorin down. Kick to the midsection, gets caught, knee to the face. And a big clothesline sends him out of the ring. Thorin gonna follow after. gets pushed to the ground by Johnny Draco. Oh god, full Nelson spin out bomb. Sent right into the ring. And again looking to collapse the chest. Just attacking the leg of Thorin. And again, that full Nelson bomb. The blood pouring down the face of Thorin. And Draco is gonna like to open that cut even more. Jawbreaker. Got caught, Uranagi. These two teams are putting it all on the line. Draco looking to end it. Calf crusher, but his foot was under the ropes. 
Gonna tag in Wagner. Who's just gonna go for the pin. One, two, that does it. The winners of this match are the team of Johnny Draco and Kurt Wagner, the agents of pain. And I think when he went for that calf crusher on the knee, wait a second. And I understand that must have been a very grisly sight for them to see. To be honest, I don't remember any of what happened. But Prodigy clearly wanting to take justice into his own hands. And believes that it was Smith. You saw his evidence there. I just... I hope Prodigy knows what he's doing. But coming up next... There's a little bit of contention with what happened in the main event last week. I will talk about it when Parker makes his way to the ring as he goes up against Ace Violence in this Golden Ticket Qualifier. The following contest is a qualifying match for the men's Golden Ticket match. From an undisclosed location, Parker! And it was last week in the main event, we saw Parker go up against Donovan Payne. Had an incredible showing going up against him. But unfortunately, Dono would take things into his own hands, attack Parker with a steel chair, getting a disqualification win for Parker. But the board of directors said they wanted a clear-cut win. So instead of having him go up against Dono and repeat what happened last week, they decided to get Parker, Parker, a new opponent. From Asbury Park, New Jersey, the Violet Expert Ace Violet. And this is a great opportunity for Ace Violence here could get a chance to capitalize on the mistake of Donovan Payne. I'm not even sure if it was a mistake. You saw the calculated attack on the leg. You gotta think Ace is gonna be paying attention to that here tonight. But still, Parker having to put his spot on the line against Ace Violence. Oh, 
<laughs> from what I have been told, the board of directors is not going to accept anything other than a clear-cut win here tonight. There will have to be a pin or a submission for the spot in the golden ticket to go to either of these men. Parker said he wanted to do it for Cole. Donovan Payne taking Parker out, or at least trying to. And tonight the opportunity goes to Ace. Will Parker be able to compete in the golden ticket for his friend Cole? Or will Ace Violence become RWR's top opportunist? Parker, Ace Violence, both men are ready. Bell rings and this golden ticket qualifier is underway. Suplex, right into a cover. No! Only one. Kick to the midsection. Oh, and just a punch to the ribs. And a knee to the head drops violence. And now Parker, like we saw last week against Dono, showing what he has to offer and doing an incredible job at it. And going after the knee. Ace pushes Parker off, and just a stomp on the midsection. Knee to the midsection that time, and a DDT. Arm drag. Oh Jesus. Pulls him back to the middle. And just stomps on the midsection. Into the cover. No. Not even one. Ace is back to his feet. Inzaguri drops Ace. And these punches and bunches. Elbow to the top of the head. And a knee just drops Ace again. Oh God, oh God, biting on the fingers. Absolutely disgusting. Backbreaker. Has him up. Oh, suplex power bomb. Pushes Parker off. Not going for the pin yet. Knows more will have to be done. Double underhook suplex. Holds the bridge, but Parker's toes underneath the bottom of the rope. Oh, God. Elbow to the side of the head. Rocked him. Looking to put Parker away. Has him up, act of violence! Pulls him away from the ropes. Shoots the half into the cover. And has Ace, has Ace gained, no. I was gonna say, has Ace gained his spot in the golden ticket, but Parker able to get the shoulder up. Now trying to take that shoulder out of the equation. Triangle choke and also an armbar variant there. And the strength of Parker able to lift Ace up for a power bomb. And now Parker just stomping away on Ace Violence. Wait a second! Where is he? Parker, distracted by Dono for a second. 
Ace gets back up to his feet. DDT on Parker. Pulls him away from the ropes. Ace looking to end it. Deadlift power bomb. Cover. One, two, no. Still not enough. Oh God, an elbow again. Fighting on the fingers. Gonna pull him away from the ropes into the cover. One, two, he got it. The winner of the match and advancing to the men's golden ticket match, Ace Violence. And give the assist to Donovan Payne. Able to cause that distraction and take the golden ticket away from Parker. And congratulations to Ace Violence, the final representative for resurgence in the men's golden ticket. But coming up next, we have our first qualifier for the Tag Team Golden Ticket match. As we will see a newly formed team against one that's been a team since they've got here. The Silver Coast going up against the Terms of Service. Will they be able to censor the coat? And this match is next. The following tag contest is a qualifying match for the tag team Golden Ticket Match. On their way to the ring, this is the team of Max Silversteed and Jake Rogers, the Silver Coast. And the Silver Coast could use this match to solidify themselves as a tag team. Getting a shot at that Golden Ticket if they are able. And that is a big if to defeat the terms of service here tonight. From Halifax in Nova Scotia, this is Brian Stevens and Mason Collins, collectively, the Terms of Service. And the Terms of Service looking to go after those tag titles, looking to go after that golden ticket. They have to go through a master of a shining wizard and a man who drinks more rum than they drink Pepsi. Terms of Service would love nothing more than win that Golden Ticket briefcase and censor whoever they need to to get those titles. Jake Rogers of the Silver Coast is going to be starting off with Brian Stevens. Bell rings and this match is underway. Spinning heel kick. And you have to think DDT. Although they are the more experienced as a team, being the terms of service, what it would add to them if they were able to put away two top-tier single stars like Jake Rogers and Max Silverstein here tonight. Uh-oh. They're not careful. They're going to be hit with a cease and desist. The drunken people's elbow. What? Yeah, no, that's not what he calls it. That's what I want to call it. Uranagi. Yeah. 
Sent into the corner. Oh, elbow to the side of the head. Tried for a cutter, but Rogers pushes him off. Sent into the corner. Got to tag in Mason Collins. Sent off the ropes. Double flapjack. And just a stiff kick right to the middle of the spine. And I was going to say, Terms of Service so far doing a great job keeping Rogers isolated. And then Rogers goes right to tag out. Northern Lights on the outside by Silverstein. Two. Oh, kick to the midsection. A kick to the back of the leg. Elbow to the top of the head. Super kick to the midsection. And these men are just trading back and forth. Collins though looking to end that. Oh, face first off the stairs. Sent back into the ring. Now Collins going after him. Though getting the arm attacked by Silverstein. Sent off the ropes. Tried for an Inziguri, just gets pushed off. Cutter, no. Inziguri, no. Collins has an answer for everything, and I think it's starting to piss off Max. Forearm to the side of the head. Terms of service, Northern Lights by Max into the cover. The feet were underneath the ropes. And even then, Cullens just pushed him off. Side headlock. I was gonna say, Terms of Service seemed like a smart team and they would have watched tapes not only of the Silver Coast as a tag team, but also their independent careers. Getting to learn their style so that way they can have answers to everything. Knee to the head, Bulldog. It seemed to have worked there for a while for Mason. And now just being torn apart by Silverstein. Who picks Mason up. Mason gonna send him over to the outside there. Max gets back in. Oh, almost caught a forearm to the ribs. Bulldog. No! Sorry, it was a knee to the head. Tried for the Bulldog, but didn't get it. Sent into the corner. Speared not connecting. Jumped a little too soon. Going after the back of the leg of Max. Back into the corner of the terms. Got him that time. Just stomping on the chest of Silverstein. Looking to collapse that ribcage and these punches to the head. Over and over. Forearm to the back. Has him set up on the ropes. Stevens. Oh, God. Hung him up on the top rope, but Silverstein falls to the outside. Forearm and elbow to the side of the head. Heel kick by Stevens takes him down. Oh God, right into the table. Four. Oh, knee to the midsection too. Six. And Max gonna tag into Rogers. Tried for an uppercut, not able to get it. Kick to the midsection, double underhooks. Pedigree into the cover. One, two, no! Not enough. Uppercut. And another one that time drops him. Trips him up. Texas Cloverleaf. 
Not often we see the terms of service go to the submissions. Over, oh, very effective. Although Rogers was able to get out. Double under hook. Hook and ladder. Face first into the floor. Oh my god, is he thinking double knee breaker? No. Pulling him back that elevated prawn stretch. Oh my god! Just bending him in half! The prawn stretch mixed with that dragon sleeper! Looking to get into some net, but Stevens just punches him right in the ear. Good way to knock off the equilibrium. Puts him against the ropes. Sends him off. Tried for an uppercut, not able to work. Max, though, tried to grab the legs, wasn't able to get him. Punch to the ribs. Uppercut. And Max got taken down there. Heel kick. I think when he reared back for that punch to Rogers, elbowed Max in the side of the head. And Rogers once again. The drunken people's elbow. Picks him up. Big, no, thought he was going for a Yuranagi, instead going for a tripletta of backbreakers. And Steven's trying to crawl over to his corner. Before I said it was a terms of service, had a good job cutting off Rogers. And now the Rogers has the Kraken stretch, and he has no choice. And advancing to the tag team golden ticket match, the Silver Coast. That triple backbreaker followed up with a Kraken stretch was more than enough. And the Silver Coast able to pick up a win here tonight. As we get ready for your next match. And it was a few weeks ago, Haley Shepard was in a number one contenders match for the women's title. Except she would have been if it hadn't been for Torvi coming out and kicking her ass and stopping her from being able to compete in that match, giving her spot in the golden ticket to Dallas Carino, who would go on winning. But now Haley looks to get a measure of revenge against Torvi. And that match is next. contest is a singles contest scheduled for one fall on her way to the ring from the nordic states the shield maiden torvi and torvi getting her rematch that sky's the limit and if she's able to win i'm sure she'll be looking across the ring right now from who the next number one contender will be after hope but if she's not able to win, I think this may guarantee a number one contender's position. I'm not the board of directors, I can't say. But if it was me, I think it would. Making her way to the ring from San Francisco, California, representing the Coterie, Haley Shepard. And Haley Shepard tonight looking to enact a measure of revenge. Looking to show Torvi that she shouldn't have done what she did and to show everybody what you all should have known from the beginning. You don't fuck with the Coterie. Oh, but they're 7 and 11. They're 7 and 11. Keep talking from behind your computer, boys. 
We'll be out here winning. Torvi, Haley, both women ready. Bell rings. Right out of the gate with a drop kick. Torvi pushes her off the kick to the midsection. Looking for a pump handle. Suplex. Oh, just a stiff punch to the teeth. Haley, though, with a jawbreaker. And Torvi may be the strongest competitor we have at the women's division. And I just mean strength wise, like sheer muscle. Being able to throw people around like they're ragdolls. Trips are up. And I stomp to the back of the head. But you know, Haley will need to be mentioned on that list eventually. And I get it, a lot of people at home are probably thinking I'm just a mark for my own stable. Reverse DDT. But it comes at a lot more than that. So I'm not just a mark for my own stable. I know what they're capable of. Cover, one only. I know what they are able to do in that ring. They just need to bring it out. And I'm sure Haley is going to look to do just that here tonight against Torvi. As she picks the shield maiden up. Sent into the corner. Knee to the head. Pushes her off. Punches a stiff few forearms right to the back. Going after the knee. A kick to the midsection. Oh, backbreaker. Sidewalk. Into the cover. One. No, one only. See, that's the thing. I don't even... I can tell you what Haley's gonna do before she does it. Because I know the competitors, the members of the Coterie so well. Haley gonna pull her away from the ropes. Grabs the legs and looking to separate that hip and that knee. Picks her up. Haley gonna send her over into the corner, running knee, no, not able to get it. Rolls through, drop toe hold. And Haley. Oh shit. Fisherman suplex. Perfect plex, if you will. Has her up. Oh my god! Fall away across the ring. Remember what I was saying about Haley being strong? Forearm to the back. Face first into that top turnbuckle. Has her hung upside down in a tree of woe. And just stomping on the face. Pulls her away from the ropes. Shoots the half into a cover. One only. And now Haley. Looking to end it. Face first into the floor. Cover. Two. And she fucking got her. The winner of the match, Haley Shepard. Allow me to say it louder for the people in the back. Fucking doubt me, I dare you. Haley showing just what the coterie is all about. Defeated Torvi and looked good while she did it. Congratulations, Haley. I'm sure board of directors have been watching this closely. And allow me to speak freely as a fan, as a viewer. That is your next number one contender. Throw her through the ringer if you must. She will beat anyone you put in front of her in the chase for that women's title. But coming up next, I hope you weren't sick of the Coterie theme because you're going to hear it two more times as we have our next Golden Ticket qualifier for the Tag Team Golden Ticket. We will see the Coterie go up against the Committed Relationship. And that match is next.
The following tag contest is a qualifying match for the tag team golden ticket match. Making his way to the ring from Hell, Michigan, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the most dangerous wrestler in the world. Representing the Coterie, Chad Bryant. And Chad fucking Bryant. We're gonna go out there and show everybody it's not just a moniker, it's not just a nickname, it is the goddamn truth. World's most dangerous wrestler. And of course, tag team action where Chad Bryant goes. You know who's not gonna be too far behind. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 215 pounds, he is the X Factor of the Coterie. Awesome X. Last season, they were, they were able to get to that dance. They were able to hold those titles and look damn good doing it too. And now they have their opportunity to not just guarantee they're going to hold those titles again, but to do it whenever they damn well feel. Nothing taken away from the committed relationship. They're a great team. However, look at who they're going up against. Am I biased? Hell yes, I'm biased, but that's because I know what my group is capable of. And I'll tell you what they're capable of. That's defeating the terms of service and not having to change their gimmick. This is the team of Charlie Harris and JT Hall, the committed relationship. And the committed relationship. Getting their opportunity this season to go after those tag titles. Trying to regain some of their masculinity after they were no longer told, or after they were told that they could no longer be proprietors of a one night stand. see the markings that they carry with them trying to show some uh, family-friendly hidden adult concepts of course it's JT Hall with those chains around his arms and Charlie Harris who has those handcuffs from what I have been told inside that cup, from what that was normally their drink, is now just some nice friendly apple juice. Coterie committed relationship, bell rings, matches underway, collar and elbow, Chad Bryant has the arm, which is not something you want Chad Bryant to ever have on you. Harris able to reverse it though, grabbing the arm of Bryant, trips him up. Collar and elbow against a man the size of Chad Bryant. When you look like Charlie Harris, not the smartest. Not the smartest move. Clean break. Not a show of respect, just wanted to get the referee off him. Neck breaker. And Chad trips him up. Sent into the corner. Elbow no pushes him off. Chad Bryant has him up for a suplex. May have been thinking MDK. Just pushes Harris away. Just emphatically says no. Face first into that turnbuckle. Reverses. Sent into the corner.
Pushed off the ropes. Oh, face first into the floor, the double flapjack. Pull back clothesline. Tags in Awesome X. Knee lift rocks him. S tried for a spinning knee, not able to get it. Sends him into the corner of the committed relationship spear. I'm just stomping on the chest. Knee to the side of the head. DDT. Oh, and a back body drop. Pushes him off. And now, on some X, no, back body drop. Shoulder tackle. Just stomping on the legs over and over. Sent into the corner. Splash, not able to connect. And a jawbreaker from Awesome X. Back suplex, no. Harris able to shift his weight mid lift there. And tag in Chad Bryant. Pullback clothesline didn't take down Hall. Caught him with a DDT though. And that's what I mean when I talk about the ability of the coterie. Harris looks like he tried to tag in there. And now those mounted forearms. Oh god, and the elbows too. Maybe covered by padding, but at the same time, very effective. Pulls him away from the corner. Irish whipped into the corner of the coterie. Boot to the head. Elbow to the head. Gets sent into the corner of the committed relationship. Spear that time connected. And the alley-oop bomb. Oh, punch to the side of the head. Sent into the corner. Tags an awesome X. Double back body drop. The strength of the coterie. Harris wanted in, but awesome X was in the way. Back of the head into the mat. Pump handle face buster into the cover. One, two, and he got him. And just like that. The winners of the match and advancing to the tag team golden ticket match, the Coterie. Listen to all these people boo. But yet, they're still gonna go there to watch the Coterie. I don't get it. Congratulations, boys. Got some bubbly waiting in the back for you. But coming up next is your main event. As we have an open challenge by the Revolution World Champion trying to get himself warmed up for his match at Sky's the Limit against Andre Baker. But the question is, who answered the challenge? This is how it's gonna be. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this is a non-title open challenge match. Weighing 225 pounds from London, England. He is the king of the wing. He is your wife's favorite wrestler. And he is the RWR World Revolution Champion, Marvelous Matt Matthews. And Matt Matthews, the Revolution World Champion. Wanting to show everybody that he is ready for Andre Baker. When he returns to his home country. For Sky's the Limit coming to you live from London, England. Next Friday. I'm the baddest mother up in here. And I'm about to make it clear. So you have to wonder who answered the challenge. Oh shit! Off the Florida Keys, this is the party pirate, Davey Rogers! Davey Rogers knows this is a way to make himself stand out. If he is able to defeat Marvelous Matt Matthews here tonight, how that will skyrocket his career. Although this is a warm-up match, you have to realize, as I said, if he's able to defeat Matt Matthews here, that definitely puts him into the title picture for next month. Well, yeah, next pay-per-view. Matthews, Davey Rogers, both men are ready. This main event matchup is underway. Tried for a running knee. Rogers jumped out of the way. Drop kick. And just stomping him on the stomach and a kick to the back. A punch to the ribs. Off the ropes. Jumps over him, ducks under. Tried for a belly to belly, but no bell clap. Instead, uppercut. Oh, and a kick to the midsection. Oh, and a knee. Sends him out of the ring. And Matthew's gonna stay on his opponent. You're talking two different beasts when you go up against Andre Baker and Davey Rogers, but at the same time, Still a good way to showcase himself here tonight for Matthews to show everybody what he has ready for Baker. Come sky's the limit. Oh my god! That slap just echoed through the arena. Matthews heads back in. Looks like he tried to grab the legs and Rogers just ran right back avoiding it. Punch to the side of the head. Matthews has him, alley-oop bomb. Doesn't hold the pin though. It's just a boot to the face, into the cover, one only. Going to take more to put away the party pirate. And a kick to the back. Oh, face first into the floor. Rolls him over into another cover. One only still. And Matthews is surprised. 
Guess he figured it would at least be a two, but Davey Rogers showing that heart and determination we have come to know from the Rogers family. Back of the head into the floor. Face first into the floor. That full reverse DDT. Punch to the midsection. Running knee to the head connects. Into the cover. One. No, still one only. Kick to the midsection. Angel's wings. Into the cover. Two. No. He kicked out at two. I'm on the same boat as Matthews there. I figured that was going to be it. Pulls Davey away from the corner. Chicken wing and the tequila sunrise. Will he be looking to win here to show everyone what he has? No. Davey slammed his hand on the mat, not tapping out, but as a way to boost himself up so that way he was able to get out of it. Suplex brain buster! Matthews headed up top. Elbow drop right to the heart. Oh, and a kick to the side of the head by Davey. Punch not able to connect, gets a forearm to the jaw instead. Arm drag. Oh god, he caught him there. Double knees to the back. Now what is he thinking of here? Elbow to the midsection. Big belly to belly. Davey gonna roll out of the ring. Matthews not playing it the smartest. Gonna let Davey recuperate on the outside. Gets back in. Right hand, left hand. Sorry, it's left and right. Sent into the corner, double knees into the back. And now Matthews. Oh my god! Oh god! Gut wrench deadlift. German suplex. Fireman's carry the back of Davy's head hit the second darn buckle. How is he still standing, let alone competing? Elbows to the midsection. Snap suplex. Davy with a quick roll up. One only. Big clothesline by Matthews. Stomping him and looking to end it with a... Whoa! I thought he was going to go for the curb stop. Instead, just driving the point of the knee into the side of the head. Face first, end of the floor. The blood running down the face of Davy. Matthews thinks he has it. Pulls him away from the ropes, away from the corner, rolls him to the middle, into the cover. One, two, no! Two only. Matthews. Looking to put him away. Angel's wings. Cover. One, two, he gets him. The winner of this match, Marvelous Matt Matthews. And that was an incredible showing by the World Revolution Champion. Showing he is ready for Andre Baker. Thank you everybody for watching here tonight. We will see you next week as we get ready for our go-home show for Sky's the Limit. <laughs>